and we'll go to some common pronunciation differences with American English. Okay, so uh, I'll go to the notes on this one first. Okay, but basically there's just loads of words where the pronunciation is really different between British and American English. Here are some really uh, common examples where sometimes British and American people just don't understand each other. So in British English, especially in received pronunciation, that posh, okay, uh, southern accent, vowel sounds must be pronounced clearly and distinctly. This is in contrast with American English, where vowel sounds, particularly in the words like merry or marry, are very similar. So I'll just do an example of the difference. In American English, Mary and Mary, okay? In British English, Mary and marry. Okay, so I will do this again. So, in American English, Mary. In American English, Mary. In British English, Mary. In British English, Mary. Okay, so we, it's really important to distinguish those sounds, to make those sounds very different in British English. Okay, so another note, British English sounds like the end in airy, okay, this, okay, are usually shortened to just e or i, okay, like preliminary or library, and in some upper class accents, even words like necessary. Okay, so you might hear this quite a lot. Okay, so let's have a look at some common differences. Apricot, apricot, library, library, herb, herb, leisure, leisure, route, root, tomato, tomato, vase, vase, vitamin, vitamin, controversy. Controversy, innovative, innovative, productive, productive, lever, lever. Okay, as you can see, okay, some of those differences might be a little bit small. Okay, and I apologize for my American accent. Okay, it's not perfect. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at these words. Uh, so distinctly, if something's distinct, it's separate, it's different, okay? And it's noticeably different. It's easy to notice the difference. Okay, so when, we, when I say I want vowel sounds to be distinct, that means they must be separate, they must be different. Ah, okay, so merry, marry, right? Okay, uh, if you guys don't know an apricot, an apricot is that orange fruit you often get on a tree. Certainly in Britain, we often uh, take out the middle of the fruit, we dry it, we eat dried apricots quite a lot. Okay, and... Uh, uh, a controversy, okay, or a controversy, a controversy is uh, something that's controversial, something that causes people to disagree strongly, okay, something that causes people to split into groups and argue, right, okay, it's controversial, okay, it is a controversy. All right, guys, uh, let's move on. And we'll go to today's, uh, uh, one of today's most interesting slides, which is scone and scone. Okay, so this this word always means the same thing. It is these delicious uh, sort of cakey things. Uh, they're, they're not cakes, they're not bread. Uh, they are somewhere in between. Uh, they are often baked, okay, sometimes griddled, stuff like that. So this kind of uh, cake uh, is really important to the UK. It's called a scone or a scone. Uh, and the scone is pronounced in two very distinct ways by people in the UK, and there is no strict rule as to the location. Okay, so there's no, uh, uh, so it's not like in the north they say it this way, in Scotland they say it this way, in London they say it this way, in the West Country they say it this way. All over England it's different for everybody really. Okay, and Pete, this is very controversial. Okay, it's a big controversy uh, in Britain. So most people in, uh, in Britain have a very strong opinion about the pronunciation. So if you want to perfect your British accent, uh, it's a good idea to decide which pronunciation that you prefer, uh, because all British people uh, will uh, take this very seriously. Okay, so, so either it's pronounced scone to rhyme with gone, okay, or scone to rhyme with tone, okay? And it doesn't really matter. I pronounce it scone. My wife pronounces it scone. Okay, 
Okay, so who knows why there's a difference? Okay, but it's really common. Uh, and I promise you, lots of people make terrible jokes uh, using this. Okay, the scone is gone. Okay, the stone of scone. Okay, yeah, there are some terrible jokes which don't translate well. <laughs> but uh, uh, lots of bad jokes and wordplay uh, is involved with this uh, pronunciation of scone or scone. Okay, I just note that the word perfect when used as a verb is pronounced a little bit differently when it's a noun. When it's a noun, we focus on the first syllable, perfect. When it's a verb, we focus on the second syllable, perfect. Okay, and when this word is a verb, it basically means to make perfect, to make the best possible, like that. So if you don't know the word wordplay, Wordplay is basically uh, doing interesting things with language or playing with words and usually for humor. OK, so it's usually changing the way words are, making a joke using different words or doing something clever using the way that words sound. OK, and this is a really important part of British humor, wordplay. OK, all right, guys, uh, uh, I hope you enjoy having your scones. Uh, and uh, traditionally it's had with uh, tea. Okay, so you often have a, a scone and a cup of tea. Okay, um, and often on the scone we'll have butter. Okay, but if you have an, a traditional British afternoon tea, you'll have your scone with cream and jam and all sorts of interesting toppings. All right, let's move on. And let's have a look at uh, something lots of people ask me about, which is the Queen's English. Okay, so the Queen. Uh, and other royalty, and many older upper class people speak in this very archaic RP dialect that is quite hard for even British people to understand. It is very common for characters in period dramas and other British television to use this accent. Okay, so I'll go through uh, a few tips about how this accent's pronounced, and then I'll give you a few examples of how to do it. Okay, so uh, so this is some tips on how the Queen speaks. So the O sound is produced right at the front of the mouth. So we speak right at the front. Okay, so an example sentence, don't go slowly. Okay, compare that to my normal accent. Don't go slowly. Don't go slowly. Okay, so it's a little bit different and it's quite difficult to understand, right? Okay. <laughs> Um, the A sound in words like thank or mat is actually pronounced e. So, so for example, in the sentence, think that man, or in normal English, thank that man, like the queen, think that man, thank that man. Okay, very interesting that one. So the Y at the end of words becomes e, e instead of e. Okay, so in so instead of really we go really instead of really we go really <laughs> okay so it's a really weird one that one okay uh, another interesting one is words like tower or wire are not pronounced fully by the queen and other upper class people it's simply replaced with an r sound okay so you might hear people say things like ta wa okay the tower is on fire Okay, so you'll hear this quite a lot. It's very difficult for people to understand, so don't worry if you find it difficult. The other trick that she does is she taps her R's. When we talk about tapping R's, that means you, your tongue touches the top of your mouth as you say some R sounds. Very, merry. Okay, I've had a very merry time this Christmas, for example. Okay, so that kind of thing. Okay, so it's an interesting thing the Queen does. And, uh, and the other thing to note about the Queen is the Queen never rushes. She never speaks quickly and she enunciates very clearly, even though her accent is a bit weird, right? It's a little bit weird. Okay, so uh, I'll give a few more examples. Okay. Shower. Shower. Power. Power. Fire. Fire. Silly. Silly. Royalty. Royalty. Yes. Yes. Okay, so this last one is really weird. Okay, but basically the word yes, when the Queen says it, is pronounced the same as this. 
is is I would like to go to Japan someday. Is is I would like a shower. Yes, I would like a shower. Is I would like a shower. Okay. Yes, the tower is on fire. Is the tower is on fire. Okay, so the queen does speak in a very strange way. Okay, I'll give one more example by reading all this through. So I'll read this all through with the queen's English. Okay? The queen, other royalty, here, and many elder upper class people speak in this archaic RP dialect that is quite hard for even some British people to understand. It is very common for characters in period dramas and other British television to use this accent. Okay, very weird, very difficult to understand, right? Don't worry. So as I noted, okay, yeah, it's really common uh, for people in period dramas, for people in historical fiction, for people in movies to use the Queen's accent. Okay, so royalty, by the way, is a term we use to talk about sort of uh, royal people as a group, royalty. Okay, that means royal people and the traditions around them. When we say archaic, that kind of means obsolete, old fashioned, no longer in use. And so when we talk about archaic language or an archaic dialect, that basically means most people don't use it anymore, but the queen does. And it's very popular in movies, okay? And period dramas. So a period drama is any kind of historical story, like in a TV show or a movie. So like Pride and Prejudice is a period drama. Downton Abbey, period drama okay and these are these places are so common uh for people to use rp or the queen's english which is very different okay to uh to normal day-to-day -day english <laughs>